What are there? What are other sort of out there areas that you'd like to invest in? I know you made some announcements you can't announce, so I'm not necessarily trying to block box you in, but maybe something you haven't seen yet or you're looking at. Well, I, I keep getting quoted on this, so I, I don't want to go too much on it, but Bitcoin, I think, is interesting. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, well, What do you think about all the news this week about Bitcoin? I mean, Yeah, I haven't fully, uh, I mean, I, I think only part of its the information's come out, so mm -hmm. like the Homeland Security shut down Mount Gox, or at least Dwalla's um, uh, account for Mount Gox. And so I think you guys reported, I believe, that it's because they, they're claiming they didn't have a proper money transmitter license, which would mean that it's that their complaints are somewhat unique to Mt. Gox, and they're not going after all math-based currencies. Right. We'll see what happens. That seems to be where it is now. It's very hard yeah. to tell. It's hard to tell. But if they do go after all of these, that would be, you know, I think, a bad thing. And I think it would certainly make it harder to invest, probably impossible to invest in. Um, do you, but, I mean, does it? Because, I mean, there, there are disruptive technologies that the US government does not like in terms of online gambling, in terms of file sharing. Yeah, you know, we, so a lot of those have made money. I think they have, they have, but I don't think we as a US based firm. By the way, if they shut down, if they if they ban Bitcoin, I think Bitcoin might thrive even more so because of it. Yeah. I just don't think US based VCs will be investing in it, you know, mm -hmm. the same way that like online gambling or something, right? Mm -hmm. Now that does, you know, a lot of the attraction of these things is in sort of the developing world, for example, and I don't see how that would, if anything, that might just sort of provoke the Bitcoin community and make, even accelerate it. Mm -hmm. um, what, what appeals to you about Bitcoin? Well, I think the big mis misunderstanding of Bitcoin, if you read the New York Times or something, is they talk about it as like a currency. That's something that's like, you know, people that are afraid, that are anti-Federal Reserve, um, you know, want to store their money in like sort of these gold bugs and like all these other kinds of like... Crazy you know, libertarians. Yeah, crazy libertarians or something. And there's some of that, like the libertarians, some of them do like it. I think why the tech community said about it is much more as like a payment mechanism. So it's mm -hmm. sort of the idea that... Um, you know that the internet is an anonymous network, and we have a what we, we our payment system that we've grafted on top of it is one that requires identity and verification with credit cards and everything else. Which is why, if you go to a payment company, like half of all the staff is anti-fraud. You talk to a commerce company, and they'll tell you chargebacks and fraud are a huge issue. Um, they have to block you know 40 countries in the world from buying stuff there because the credit card companies make them do it. It's like a total train wreck. It's a disaster. Like no one who act, no one. No one who said this isn't a good idea, like these the Paul Krugman's and New York Times, have any idea of how the payment world works on the internet. Right? It's, mm -hmm. it's a completely broken. Not to mention the fees, the global barriers, like, but mostly the fact that it's that there's so much fraud. And you can't. The great thing about Bitcoin is like cash or gold, in that it's what economists call a bearer instrument, which means it's an it's a financial product where when you hand it to somebody, they can look at it and say, I got it. I don't care who you are or whatever. It's gold. It's Bitcoin. Right. right? So you don't need to know. And so like that's why, like I've seen on, and, and the other thing that people underestimate is I've now like a lot of very very good entrepreneurs are going into this stuff and so the, the way the first wave of entrepreneurs they were you know very talented people but they were sort of these libertarian politically motivated right. people now you're seeing these very like kind of traditional top tier entrepreneurs in California and other places who are starting these things and so all these problems people talk about like oh the UI you know it's hard to use they're gonna fix that like mm -hmm. you know uh, it's hard to go get it like I just met an entrepreneur the other day and his whole thing is he's he's going to, thir to the bodegas in like developing countries and it's gonna launch soon where you can go to a bodega you can give them local currency buy a card that has Bitcoin and then use it on like Skype and other services that were previously banned in that country because they didn't trust your credit card mm -hmm. you know or like like there's just like a whole bunch of stuff that's going to happen that is, I think, exciting and going to enable a lot of other things that we've always sort of imagined in the tech world, like um, micropayments, for example. Like mm -hmm. right now, if I, you know, I read a, I read an article in the Financial Times, I think it's good. I want to give them 20 cents. I don't want to go fill out a credit card form and establish a relationship and this and that. You know, with Bitcoin, you could literally just give them 20 cents and you're done, and that's it. And that's mm -hmm. the entire transaction relationship, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there's all these like interesting ideas around machines paying machines for things. Like, uh, for example, one of the uh, classic ideas for solving spam is I'm not sure it would actually work, but the idea is that if every time uh, a sender tries to send an email, the recipient charges them a hundredth of a penny mm -hmm. or a ten thousandth of a penny. And it wouldn't matter for normal email, but it would matter for the spammer because they're sending, their whole thing is to send a zillion right. of them, right? And so like that scheme, for example, which is an old scheme to solve spam, never got implemented because you'd have to have a credit card relationship between or something between every computer and every other computer. It wouldn't right. work. But like you can now do it. Like this is, I think it just, people are excited because it could just enable this whole new wave of creativity. Mm -hmm. I think the other thing is that uh, generally the 
financial world has resisted um, Silicon Valley disruption. Um, and a lot of that's due to the fact that it's highly regulated and the incumbents have all sorts of power with the government and they get bailed out and other kinds of stuff. And so I think for a lot of people, Bitcoin is kind of this like release valve. It's like, okay, now maybe we have an angle into like doing something interesting in financial mm -hmm. services that isn't like gonna be you know, shot down by Wall Street or something. And so I think that's a lot of why there's excitement around it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying it's like, look, I'm not saying it'll work. It may fail, it may get, de it may get regulated away. It may be overhyped, maybe something else will take over, maybe it'll all fail, I don't know. Like it's such right. risky and it's, who knows. But I do think that the debate about it has not been, a, the, when I read the public debate, I don't read about the thing that I that I talk about when I talk about it with people in Silicon Valley. Like it's just, right. they're talking about a different thing. Yeah. Like they're caricaturing it and they're using sort of the straw man argument and about like saying it's a, the gold standard and you're all these like libertarian, I'm not a libertarian, I'm not like interested in it because I'm against the Federal Reserve, I'm interested in it because I think it fixes a lot of problems on the internet. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's all I'm saying is it's just like I think the debate's been misframed. Mm -hmm. 